The moon is made of cheese. It looks f***ing delicious. The end dimension's primary block looks like cheese because the moon is made of cheese. With a static sky that looks like space without stars, Endermen look like aliens, the dimension was originally called the sky dimension, the end is clearly a dimensional metaphor for space. Originally, the end consisted of a singular island mass except it's shaped nothing like the moon and there's no way you could bulldoze the entire moon like you could this island in Minecraft. Not to mention it would cause apocalyptic conditions on Earth ending in billions dead in natural disasters just before throwing off Earth's rotation around the sun which would mean the end of everything. In that case, I guess I'm glad the moon exists. Because sometimes amazing people in this world notice what you're doing and want to help by doing something significant. Like when Jimmy approached us for video collaborations, Kismac helped us with our server hosting, or the wackadoo never would have thought this would happen in a million years message we got last month. Sometimes your life boils down to a single crazy event so significant that it has noble lasting impact on the universe long after you're dead, or any of us for that matter. Yes, we're sending a map of the Earth in Minecraft to the moon in real life. Here's the story of how that happened. So, quick five second recap, I made a video about the Earth and Minecraft at 1-1 scale, but it was just natural terrain and we should build buildings. People like this idea and we've been working on it ever since. Got it? Great. Now the starting point for this is like word salad or word jazz, or rather, if you were to have a program that selected a completely random point in the world, sort of like that Pokemon move, Metronome, it's just going to select something entirely random, okay, here it is. VLC. Many of you may have heard of this. It's a video file player brand I've been loyal to since good old 2003, back when I was in middle school and Nokia brick flip phones were all the rage. This thing can do anything, play anything. My son is using it right now to watch Fern Gully for the first time. Anyways, they're celebrating VLC's 20th anniversary by sending terabytes upon terabytes of movies and videos packed in micro SD cards to be put in a gold cone shaped time capsule to be deposited on the first commercial lunar flight, the Peregrine mission, at the end of 2021 in collaboration with NASA. They sent out a call to everyone to submit videos of them doing anything to represent humanity in a time capsule to be preserved on another world. I can't even begin to express the significance of this. If humans disappeared, nature over the next million years would reverse all traces that we were ever here. Even the International Space Station would slowly fall to Earth and burn. Nothing, not even an orbit, would be safe. But the moon has its own gravity. It keeps sh there. Until our sun blows up in four billion years, this time capsule will sit here safe with all the evidence of humanity's existence, capable of weathering almost any apocalyptic scenario which would wipe out humanity. I didn't even know this was going on. We haven't been to the moon since the 60s, how could I? It was brought to our attention because Julian Navas, chief space officer at Videoland.org, sent a message to Toastmaster saying they would play a lot of Minecraft at VLC, they love the project, he has room left in his box, and would love to put our map of the Earth one to one scale in Minecraft into the capsule to send to the moon. We obviously freaked out a little bit when we heard this news. The cost of the space flight, the manufacturing of the time capsule, even the micro SD cards that he was going to put our map on, all paid for by VLC. My life at this point seems abnormally blessed by the strange video playing application I've been loyal to for almost 20 years. They play my movies for me, they're going to send my Minecraft world 238,900 miles into space. I mean, the list goes on and on. And they're not sponsoring this video, by the way, although I'd love to. Anyways, we responded by saying, no, we're far too busy self-generating Discord drama that ends up taking all hours of the day that makes us feel really important, so we're gonna have to decline. Just kidding, April Fools, we said yes of course, then decided on a format, which ended up being an announcement to build team owners, followed by file submissions. Toast organized and handled the bulk of this process. Tell me what happened. I was chilling one day when I got a DM on the Twitter from this guy named Julian. He wanted to send our Minecraft map to the moon. Uh, what, like the moon in Minecraft? Like, what does that mean? No, the, the actual moon. Like, the literal fucking moon. You can look out your window at night and see it kind of moon. And that was it. We uploaded the 368 gig world file to Mega Drive, sent it off to Julian. He was very happy, started downloading everything, and sent us a final message letting us know he would message us when it was all on SD cards in the capsule in Florida for launch. This single event eclipses our lives in a very meaningful, physical way. When the dust of our bones is gone, due to medical advancements, not moving fast enough for our current generations to achieve immortality, those SD cards will still be there. On the same moon, Neil Armstrong placed the American flag. We were so hyped, humbled, honored, and inspired by this, we decided to generate the moon. One to one scale in Minecraft. Now there's not a lot going on there human wise, so we skipped generating the data set for the entire planet or moon or whatever, which would have been hundreds of terabytes or some shit. <laughs> 
update since I was finished writing and voicing this part. Porkchop and the others working hard on our new version of Build the Earth, Terra Plus Plus, have informed me that the moon data set is complete. Wherever you walk on the moon, the terrain will generate just like it does for Earth and the original Terra 1 to 1 mod. This is huge. It means we can walk across the entire surface of the moon in game. So naturally, that can lead to only one thing. It means that all Minecrafters and skilled builders have to come together to work on building all human infrastructure just as it stands to Oh, there's actually almost nothing up here. Well, in that case, we're gonna have to build the Apollo landing site as it was in 1961 when the shuttle was there. And it shouldn't take more than two builders to get that done. Why are our tasks always either difficulty level 9,000 or nothing? Our job is always either to build five billion buildings or just five. Can we get an intermediate challenge, please? Jesus. Okay, so where on the moon are you right now? Good question. Holy shit. Oh my god. So this is the lander, not the rocket. Yeah. The rocket doesn't land on the moon. They moved the two astronauts from this can, they ditched it, and then they went home with the first module that was orbiting the moon. That's crazy. When did this happen? Uh, 1969. Were you alive? No. <laughs> Also, there's no way to get this American flag upright. No. America's kind of slumpy and s saggy today. We're looking up. We can't really see Earth unless I were to yeah. just like put, put I'm going I'm to put it right there. I'm going to put it right there. Would you die on the moon or in space? No. Okay. I can no longer respect you. Glad to see we've done all the man-made stuff. That took a long time. How long did yeah, this take I, you? A few minutes oh shit. it's it's not as hard as build the earth then i guess we're gonna be the first video game on the moon that makes us stand out i guess definitely uh makes me feel proud to be an american i hope you feel the same no matter what happens with this project now our contributions and efforts will go down in the annals of history well beyond the scope of our lives it's the first Minecraft map on the moon. I'm pretty sure it's the first video game map ever put on the moon unless another is going with the Peregrine mission. Whether I live or die, succeed or fail in my life now, it was enough knowing that I was there. I was a part of this. I was there when the first Minecraft map was put on the moon, the gateway to deep space. I'm sad that I don't get to go, but it feels like a part of me is going. For all of us who built on this project last year, a part of all of us is going. Everyone who's responsible for placed blocks inside those files, a small, bite-sized piece of them is gonna live on the moon for potentially billions of years until it's incinerated by our sun or aliens find it. That is now our legacy. What will we do next? Did you build this crater? No. Did you build Ask this crater? Me. He, he must be a moon expert now. Did you build this crater? Just the same crater as before. How about this one? Same. Uh, no. Did you build this crater? I think I see where this is going. What about the, oh, this American flag, this is awesome. Was this you? Yeah. Uh, no. You're, okay, so you're telling me that we as Americans had a chance to plant the American flag in the first moon map, one one scale Minecraft, and it was done by a Romanian. Fuck. It was embarrassing enough with us and the Russians, right? Yeah. So now- <laughs> The Romanians beat us to the moon. What, you didn't build this lander? No, I didn't build anything. <laughs> Oh, Dude, if you had beaten good. Zumi to building this, you could have been like, just the number one man for this entire concept. You could have been Minecraft's uh, Louis Armstrong. It's charity. I'm letting them have at least something in history, right? Name one Ooh. Romanian thing. Exactly. You can't. Vampires. What? Twilight. Really? Those are Romanian? Okay. Or is name, that Transylvania? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, exactly. the, left, the left left, behind books. Nikolai Carpathia. He's the Antichrist. Huh? The, the Antichrist? Did you just cite the Antichrist? Yeah. That's not how that works. He's the Every time I saw those videos, I was like, evil incarnate. This guy is badass. <laughs> Anyways, you know, Romania is, is awesome. They've got Chernobyl. They've got... What? Um, That's Ukraine. They had that, they had that war. What was it the, the Vietnam War? That Big was, fan. Um, Big fan. They kicked our asses. The, the Reigns didn't participate in the Vietnam War as far as I know. Check your sources again. No, I don't think so. They didn't. They didn't com compete in the Vietnam. They did. They did not compete. 
I don't know how fast we could like get the learning curve. It could just be like it. Uh, it could just be finessed into this uh, sort of just automated process where we can, you know, churn people out into becoming like real builders, and we could like, you know, go out and go on the street and just like be like, hey, you uh, join the project, you know, and, you know just pull people <laughs> into the lab room and just like, you know, get them on a on a computer and shit, and then you know, handcuff uh, yeah. their, their their arms to the desk, <laughs> and then. Um, and then, you know, they get released in, like, regular intervals once they've reached their work capita. And all hail a glorious future. Yeah, let's uh, hope. We could get uh, a lot of people to work on this. I mean, if we could get Kim Jong-il with us, um, we could essentially <laughs> get the whole country just working for us. And then the, the project will really make leaps and bounds. <laughs> I think we've kind of made it clear here that you didn't do any of this, but no. this is as far as we've got when it comes to moon terraforming, right? So we did all the human objects so far on the moon, mm -hmm. and uh, now we get to terraform the rest of the moon. What? So let's get to work. I have let's finals. Sit. I need to study for Here, man. get to the ground. Get to the ground. There we go. I got I, I got some, some stuff for you. <laughs> hey, I'm trying. man. Um, I, I think I hear it's like my name Boom. being called. I, I might need to do like some tours or something. I, I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna luck, go. I'll get... This tour might take me a while, so it may take a couple months. So. Yeah. Well, look, man, you, you do that. I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, shit. So did Toast do anything? No. Oh, wow.